Hey, big shout out to Luke Marshall. Really good tutorial you got here. Um, a tractor sphere intro. Um, but it's with Cinema 4D 11.5. Uh, I have 12, and just like everybody else, I had the same problem. You know how to do it with 12, how to do it with 12. Um, I sat in front of my computer. It's like really late. I'm really tired, but I found a way to do it. So here we go. Okay, I got a regular setup here, big sphere, floor, a tractor, sphere in a, in a cloner, um, and a random effect on the, on the clones. Um, just like Luke said, you know, you put your um, rigid body or um, the dynamic body from 12 on it either one works um, the only difference is uh, the big sphere you click on the on the dynamic tag and turn dynamic off that's all I did um, so it works this doesn't move um, what else yeah, everything else is just standard regular regular stuff um, let me see yeah, bunks and all that. Yeah, everything is everything is as it should be. So it does work. Oh, and let me show you. Studio R12. Yeah. So yep, works. Yeah. That's there. Okay. Well, it's just a basic scene. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, this is not a tutorial on how to do this, hope you know, yeah. well if you're interested most likely you'll go and check out the tutorials. Um, I recommend this right here, it's really good, um, but yeah it can be done with 12, uh, that's it really. Um, uh, let me see if there's anything else, nah that's it, that's it just on the big sphere click on the dynamic tag and turn dynamic off later